The Metal Gear Solid series is a series that has touched the hearts of gamers the world over. Indeed, it's hard to think of a more iconic gaming franchise in all of gaming history. Whilst we will be looking at other entries in the series, this week on Slow Mo Reviews, we are going to be delving into the mysterious and highly anticipated Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pains. Metal Gear Solid 5 picks up almost immediately where its predecessor left off, launching players back into the well worn shoes of Big Snake, played by Michael Ironside. From the off, it becomes clear that longtime creative director Shigeru Miyamoto isn't messing around. The explosive opening sees Snake looking wistfully out of a flying helicopter before firing indiscriminately at the Sunday shoppers below. After a deadly gun battle that leaves most of his posse injured or dead, Big Snake slips into a coma, waking up two years later only to find that dastardly villains have made off with his favourite limb. Staggering from his hospital bed, he makes his way out into the day with a song in his heart and bloody vengeance on his mind. Of course, we don't want to give away any of the incredible twists and turns that mark the way through this incredible narrative, but needless to say, diehard fans will not be disappointed, and newcomers to the series can fuck right off. Who the fuck plays a game five entries into a fucking series? I mean, really, what the fuck sort of cunt does a fucking stupid cunty thing like that coach? So when all is said and done, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pains provides a sometimes shocking and in the end heartbreaking ending to a series that many, myself included, have grown up with. And for that, we here at Slow Mo Reviews Award Metal Gear Solid 5 a 6.5 out of 7. And give Miyamoto some the Shlomo Award. Thank you, sir. Stuff.